This video is going to be a continuation of the last video of the Edit Control Ego and the major issues of it. And I'm going to give you guys eight more signs of this time subtle ego issues. So this is going to be a continuation in a part two of the last video that I just posted. And I'm going to give you guys the first sign of the subtle ego issue. And that is the addiction to other people's approval. So, if any of you guys out there have an addiction to other people's approval, it's something you just got to watch out for because you shouldn't need an approval out of anybody for what you want to do with your life because it's unique and it's what you do best. You don't want to have an addiction of other people's approval to what you're going to do because not everybody matters. Not everybody's approval even matters. And not everybody is going to be for you and your mission. And that's a good sign to show that you have a subtle ego issue if you need the addiction of other people's approval to do whatever you want to do. And if you can't get other people's approval, then you don't do what you want to do. The second sign is you're afraid of being alone. And believe it or not, this is a strong case that you have a subtle ego issue because this indicates whether you love yourself or not. If you can't be alone for two minutes, you don't love yourself at all. And I know people that's been in my life that have no love for themselves, they can't be alone for two minutes. They always need something. They always need somebody else. Because the love within themselves is very, very weak. Their spiritual is very, very weak. They're very weak individuals. Sign number three, that you have subtle ego issues, is only hanging around people of a similar mindset that you have. And you can only be around people that think the exact same way. What you think politically, religiously, or everything else. Because confident people can surround themselves with people who have different belief systems. Confident people can surround themselves with people with different belief systems. And they can adjust to other people's mindsets and learn and grow from other people and not just be stuck in a small circle of similar mindsets. So if you're only hanging around people of a similar mindset that you have, that's a subtle ego issue. And here is number four. You get easily offended by criticism. If you're easily offended by criticism, you have a subtle ego issue. Because criticism should not get to you. And number five, that you have a subtle ego issue, stuck in the past. Key words here, stuck in the past. If you're living your life stuck in your past, you have a subtle ego issue. You can't move on from your past. You can't live in the now. You can't create more things. That's a strong indicator that you have a subtle ego issue. Number six is insecurity and self-doubt. Because, believe it or not, people with insecurity and self-doubt, they lead their life with their false self. People that are insecure and full of self-doubt, they lead their life with their false self because they're not confident enough to lead their life with their true self. They're leading their life with their false self, if that makes sense to you guys. Number seven is constantly apologizing. This is a very, very, very good one of a sign that you have a subtle ego issue. Constantly apologizing people. 
and I'm going to explain how. You would rather take the easy way out than fix your behavior. You'd rather take the easy way out and apologize rather than fix your rude, ignorant, arrogant behavior. And if you would just fix your behavior, you wouldn't have to constantly keep apologizing, would you? This is a big sign that you have a subtle ego issue. Number eight, and this is the last sign that you have a subtle ego issue, is worrying what everybody thinks of you, and this is a huge one. You have an out of control ego if you're worrying what every single person thinks about you and you want to explain yourself to every single person on the face of the planet and you can't handle one person having a wrong outlook on you but the truth is it does not matter what you do it does not matter what you say there's going to be people that are going to think some type of way about you and there's nothing you can do to change their mind because this is their level of consciousness this is their level of perception so don't even waste your time worrying what everybody thinks about you and if you're stuck in that you have a subtle ego issue and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys myself I'm no perfect human being I've had some of these throughout my life but it's about learning about these things and fixing it in yourself and that's exactly what I've done I've fixed the problems that came up in my life and sometimes you can be doing certain things some of you guys that are watching this maybe have a couple of these a handful of these maybe one or two of these or none maybe you don't even realize that you have these it's all about learning and fixing it it's all about learning and fixing the problem immediately so you don't keep making the same mistakes in life and falling down and wondering why you can never stay up and stay happy and I'm going to end this video by giving you guys a little bit of positivity. I'm going to tell you guys right now, don't stop doing the things that give you positive results in your life. Don't ever stop doing things that give you positive results in your life. Because if you continue doing the things that give you these positive results, you're only going to get better at doing things that give you positive results. And now you're on the road to success. So keep that one in mind, guys. Don't ever stop doing the things that give you positive results, no matter what anybody else has to say. Keep doing it and get better at it. And don't stop for nothing and don't stop for nobody. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Until next time. Peace.